Welcome to Island Studios. So for our first video, we're going to be doing a 23andMe video on my DNA results. So let's get straight into it. First, we're going to be reviewing my ancestry results. On East Asian and Native American, it's at 51.3%. And it breaks down into Chinese and Southeast Asian at 51.3%. And breaks down even more into Filipino and Austrian Asian at 51.3% from Central Luzon, Philippines. And then next is European at 48.3%. Northwestern European at 43.8%, being Scandinavian at 25.6% from Skane County, Sweden, and French and German at 15% from Rhineland, Germany, and British and Irish at 1.5%, broadly Northwestern European at 1.7%, and Eastern European at 4.4%. And then broadly European at 0.1%. Trace ancestry, it's at 0.4%, and it breaks down into 0.3% Anatolian, which is. <laughs> bro, I literally almost had it, bro. I'm having a stroke over here. These results are pretty much what I expected from my family history and genealogy, and I'm pretty satisfied with them. Okay guys, so next we're going to be reviewing the Neanderthal DNA, and apparently I have 96% more Neanderthal DNA than most customers, so that means I'm ooga booga. And it says I have less than 2% Neanderthal DNA, which um, really isn't that much considering I have 96% more Neanderthal DNA than most people. So for this next clip, my brother won't be able to join me because he wants to go eat some cheese, so I don't think he'll be able to join us for the rest of this video. So, for traits, it pretty much tells you what your traits are. Okay, so for back hair, there's a 69% chance I have little to no back hair. Nice. Um, and then for bald spot, there's a 92% chance I do not have a bald spot. And for cheek dimples, there's a 52% chance I do not have cheek dimples. Cleft chin, there's a 74% chance I do not have a cleft chin. But I actually do have a little bit of a cleft chin though, so. Um, these aren't like completely right. It's just what your genetics kind of say. So it might not affect you. So yeah, and then for dandruff, there's a 73% chance I have had dandruff. And yet again, I don't think I've ever had dandruff. And then for ear earlobe type, there's a 74% ch chance of detached earlobes, but I have attached earlobes. So you can see that. And then for hair loss, 81% chance I will not experience hair loss or thinning before age 40. Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! Okay guys, so for the last thing that we're gonna be reviewing on this 23andMe website for the video is my all health and trait reports. So let's see what diseases I'm prone to. So for age related macular degeneration, there's a slightly increased risk. So uh, let's see what that is. Hopefully it's nothing like too bad. Okay, age-related macular degeneration (AMD) is most common, is the most common cause of irreversible vision loss among older adults. Okay, guys. So for the for the rest of these, they're not really detected or anything, but except for type two diabetes, apparently. So there's a typical likelihood. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Like and subscribe for more content like this, and we'll see you when we see you.